Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing good. In this video, I would like to talk about how to deploy a Node.js REST API on Cyclic hosting platform. So before starting with the demo, I would like to quickly talk about what is a Cyclic platform and how we can make use of it. Let's say you have a use case like you have an idea and you want to quickly develop and deploy it to the production or maybe uh, you are worried about maintaining the backend servers and all and you don't want to maintain the infrastructure and uh, you want to focus on building the app as fast as you can or maybe you have a personal project so you can see what they are saying is escape the infrastructure and make use of your ideas and develop the applications so let us see what we can make use of it so you, you can quickly see you can write your code once you push to the github and they will deploy to the production it is as simple as it is and they are supporting various frameworks and languages so why on cyclic platform so you can see no sleep that means your app is running 24 by 7 so there is no delay it is available on worldwide that means you can deploy wherever you want and it can scale up or down as you can see they are providing 100 requests per second per app okay so let us see uh, what is their pricing model only pay for what you use okay so they have a generous usage based uh, and then they have a team enterprise or initial package and they also come up with uh, generous free tier so this is what i'm going to make use of it so you can see uh, you don't need to pay anything and you can make use of deploying one app and uh, you can go through the features available so you need a github account in order to sign up and log into this uh, platform so once you sign in so this is my dashboard looks like so you can see you can deploy your first app in the next 15 seconds so they are saying the build process will take 15 seconds in order to get a live url you can see running code from your github okay so we don't worry about the serverless things uh, that is not the case so they are providing the templates and you can see on the two categories javascript and python currently we will be deploying api right uh, so they are providing the starter templates that means you can uh, clone their uh, starter repo and then start building on top of it or else uh, like uh, apart from this uh, starter templates you can see here you can link your own uh, repo we need to connect a github uh, repository so i will come to this uh, in a moment uh, so let us go to our demo so i have opened my node.js rest api project folder inside visual studio code you can see this is my project structure i have a package.json file and here i'm making use of uh, these dependencies like express framework and uh, mongo's uh, orm to interact with a mongodb database server.js file is a starter point so here you can see we are creating the express app we are uh, initializing the middleways we are handling the routes and we are starting the server here and inside you can see first we are connecting to the database and then we are listening to the incoming request i would like to quickly go through what are the routes uh, we have so you can see for the api users route so i have a routes uh, configured so inside routes folder you can go inside this you can see i have a, a crud endpoints for creating user to read all the users updating and deleting and i have uh, configured uh, necessary controller logic uh, inside this so functional logic is present inside this function so here i am interacting with the database uh, using mongodb so we have models user model and uh, with the help of this model we are interacting with the mongodb database i have already started my backend api so it is currently uh, listening on port 5000 and connected to the mongodb instance so let us uh, see so this is my postman i have opened and this is the endpoint uh, when i send a request so i'm getting a 200 response with some data so i have already added users uh, in the database let me talk about mongodb database so you can go to cloud.mongodb.com you can sign up inside this and once you log in you are supposed to create an organization once you create an organization uh, like uh, let me show you the projects so you can see i have created a test project uh, like you can simply click on this uh, new project and create so once you create this uh, you can see i have already provisioned a cluster so this contains database and uh, uh, collections so you can see i'm making use of free and shared cluster so in your case uh, if you are uh, creating a new project you need to create a new cluster so so you you might have this page already so here you can see they have uh, categories so serverless dedicated and shared cluster so i'm making use of shared cluster as it is a free choose your region 
provider and uh, you can choose your options and then you can uh, simply create a cluster so later on i mean you can start with the shared cluster and you can upgrade to the dedicated or else uh, if you start with the dedicated itself uh, you can see their pricing plan and all since i have already created one so i, I don't uh, continue right now so let's cancel this so this is my cluster available right now once uh, you click on this connect button so you will uh, get an option like uh, if you click on this drivers option so since we are using a node.js right uh, so we can make use of this uh, connection string in order to connect uh, mongodb database from our node.js uh, backend in our code base like you can see i have a env file which contains this uh, url the one thing that you should keep in mind is like uh, you are supposed to add uh, two things uh, one is the database access so you need to create a user so i have already created one create a new user create uh, provide username and password and then add a role for read and write to any database and then add user the second thing is network access so currently i'm allowing anyone to access so i will delete this uh, role but uh, you need to add your backend uh, ip address of your server once you deploy so that uh, your backend can communicate uh, so let us see the collections so demo db is a database for me and users is a collection for us so documents are nothing but a key value pairs just like json objects so let us start with the repository so you can go to github.com and then let's start creating a new repository node.js rest api and then i am leaving as a public create repository since our code base is already available on your project uh, path so let us initialize git on local repo okay let's add all these files to the staging area so let us verify the status so you can see i am using making use of git ignore file with the help of this uh, we can i mean we don't need to deploy node modules and uh, env file okay so let us uh, make a commit all right so after committing so we can make use of the remaining commands uh, here you can copy these commands so here we are adding the remote uh, repository url we are setting up our default branch as main and then we are pushing our main branch to the remote origin all right let's push to the remote repository all right the push is completed so let us refresh github so let us start with the deployment process as we are continuing from here so we can connect to your repo right uh, let's refresh okay so this is the repository we should uh, connect node.js rest api so here you can see we have our advanced features and uh, inside this we have build options okay we are using node runtime we do not have any root path right for example if you place your code base in the backend folder so in that case you have to mention this so uh, if you have any distribution folder then you need to uh, mention this and if you are deploying a static site then you should enable these things so this is fine so we don't need to make any changes here so on the variable section so we need to add our environment variables so let us copy so we have a port variable so we are running on port 5000 and second variable is mongo uri our database connection string so i'm just copying this uh, connection string here you have you are supposed to provide your uh, database user password and then followed by before the question mark i have provided the database name so this is my full connection string okay let's uh, close this okay we are good with the environment variables so we can go ahead and click on connect cyclic it is already pre-selected right so we have provided this repository already so you need to give a permission so approve and install okay so they have mentioned within 15 seconds you can deploy so let us see how much time it will take okay now we are live okay let's go to the dashboard you can see we also got the url as well so let us click on this so you can see this is my uh, home point home endpoint right so if i make a request to slash api slash users i should get the uh, array of uh, two objects 
so now you can ask uh, i don't want this uh, i mean end point i want a custom end point so you can see give your app a custom url at environments uh, categories so you can verify your logs on on this uh, tabs if you have any environment variables you can check with the variable section you can continuously make a commit and it will auto deploy so let us go to environments so here i would like to name my domain as rust api only so it is up to you like uh, you can give your name and it is followed by dot cyclic dot cloud so save changes so it is assigning and then finishing up okay so now we got our uh, domain okay let's go to the overview so now you can see the endpoint has changed and let us again uh, click on this so again it is still available so let me refresh this uh, previous default uh, endpoint now you can observe default provided domain is also available as well as you can make a customization i believe uh, you can also buy a domain as well it is up to you so go ahead and uh, do some research and proceed with your requirements so that's all about the video guys uh, i hope uh, the video is helpful so we have uh, make used of uh, node.js uh, api with the uh, mongodb database on the cloud we have uh, uh, used a mongodb atlas platform and then uh, we have deployed onto the cyclic uh, hosting platform if you find this video helpful give a like and subscribe to the channel for more content i will see you in the next video until then take care bye